language science is way more than the sounds we make when we are talking to each other with our mouths. It includes how we make those sounds, why we make those sounds, and other parts of communication like body language, tone of our voice, even the way that we write, and the emojis we send. Humans have a very unique communication style compared to other animals. Zelda here can only bark or wag her tail when she wants to tell me that she's happy or when she needs something. She has a very different communication style than we do. That doesn't mean my dog doesn't communicate or dinosaurs didn't have a way to get their point across. It just means that they communicated a little bit differently than we do. Animals and dinosaurs communicate through a small range of sounds, their body language, and the way that they look. So let's take a look at some dinosaurs and see what they're saying to us. Oh, look, a stegosaurus. He's pretty big, but I know that he only eats plants, so he probably doesn't have those really sharp teeth to protect him like a Tyrannosaurus Rex would. What he does have is those big plates on his back. I bet those are pointy and protect him from other dinosaurs. Kind of like porcupines have pointy quills on their bodies to protect them from dangerous animals. Those plates on the stegosaurus's back protect him from danger. How do we protect ourselves from danger? For example, we wear hats in the winter that protect our ears from the cold. All right, let's see who else is around. Oh look, a herd of Parasolophus. Those guys only eat plants too, so we're safe again. Hmm, they're all hanging around together and they look a lot alike. I bet they're part of a group. The color of those dinosaurs and how close they hang out together tells me that they're part of a group. How do we tell each other that we're part of a group? I know that when I go to baseball games, I make sure that I'm wearing my team's gear. So that way, everybody knows who I'm rooting for. There's lots of different ways to get information across. We can use our facial expressions to show how we're feeling about the situation, as well as our body language. We can also dress a certain way to show a group we're a part of. Now, we can do all those things and more. Humans are unique because we have a spoken language, which means I'm able to say, thank you for watching, rather than just wagging my tail if I had one, like Zelda would. How does your pet communicate with you? I know when Zelda sits like this, she's saying, hey, stop taking my picture. It's time to go for a walk.